Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Once you have downloaded the folder, go to start folder. I have already opened the sample project and the Dynamo file which is initially empty. The goal for this Dynamo script is to create electrical conduits from electrical fixtures to cable tray as you can see in this Revit model. So select all these. I'm going to delete all these. Okay, jump to Dynamo. Look for a code block. We are going to collect cable trays and electrical fixtures. Look for that location. Hit run. So now we need to find for each point the closest cable tray. So for example, for this point, the closest cable tray is this is this location line. So let's find it. So look for geometry distance two. From electrical fixture to cable tray. And we need to find for each electrical fixture. Hit run. Now look for sort by index value look for first item make sure the level is set to level 2 so hit run perfect now look for get item at index Connect here. So we have filter the closest, closest cable tray using the distance method. So now we have to find the closest point on this line. So we can use closest point perfect. Now we have these two points. What we can do is let me show you what we are going to follow. We are going to translate this point in Z direction. how much we need to move it so we can calculate it using z value of this point and z value of this point suppose this is a and this is b so the distance is a minus b so we will so we need to move this point in z direction this much okay so once we have found this point
So we can create these two lines, which is the path. So go back to Dynamo. Look for point Z. This is cable trip point. Look for point Z or electrical fixture. Look for core block and type the formula x minus y. X is this point. Connect here. Look for translate node. So we want to translate this electrical fixture point in Z direction this much heat run so as you can see we have generated this point now let's create lines line by start and point so the start point is can be this Now create this other line and use these points for endpoint. Hit run. Perfect. We have created our path. So now look for list create. Transpose the data. Look for conduit by lines. So make sure you have installed MEP and ePower package. Okay. Hit run. Not here. Now we need to specify which conduit type we want to model in Revit model. So go back to Revit. So suppose we, so I'm going to use this one. Copy the name. Go back to Dynamo. Look for code block. Paste it here. Now look for element type by name connect here hit run perfect connect here so we need to specify the level so look for levels level one connect here so we need to find need to specify the diameter so let me show you the values, available values, 103, zero point one hundred three. Make sure this level the level for this input is set to level 2, okay? Hit run. Now we are going to build the dynamo part for creating the conduit fitting. Go back to dynamo. So look for get item at index zero. Copy and paste it. Make sure this is set to level two. Hit run. So now look for a node called MEP fitting this one MEP fitting by MEP curves 
This node is also is from M -Power, MEB Power. Make sure you have installed the package. Connect here. Connect here. Just undo the previous transaction. Now, again hit run. So this time, this fitting is placed between these two conduits. We have successfully built a script to place automatically these electrical conduits inside Revit model.